What's going on everyone? Thank you so much for clicking on the video, and today we're talking power banks. Alright, so pretty much ever since we knew that the Switch was going to be part handheld, part home console, we've all been talking about the battery life. And when we heard that major AAA games like Breath of the Wild were only going to run for about three and a half hours on your Switch, well, then we started getting a little worried. But luckily, there is a solution. So. I've been looking for some of the best power banks that you could get for your buck and I've stumbled across three that I think are maybe worth your time. So let's start with the first one and probably the most affordable. The EasyAC 13,000 milliamp power bank. It's just over a half a pound and it'll charge your switch about three times when it's in sleep mode. So that means when you're not playing it. Now this is definitely going to be one of the more affordable power banks and at $25, I think that's a really good value for being able to charge your Switch another three times. And with my experience with it, it's actually pretty good. And I like the fact that it comes with this cool little flashlight here. I mean, that's always pretty handy. I think like all these little gadgets and accessories should come with little flashlights on them to tell you the truth. And not to mention, it does come with these two little smart ports that are supposed to charge your Switch or charge any anything you plug in there really um, quite a bit faster. It also does have two micro USB charging ports on the side as well if you want to charge the power bank itself. So the next one we're going to talk about is the Sumi Pocket Juice. It's 15,000 milliamps and this was actually the first power bank that I picked up for the Switch and you've probably seen it in a lot of my videos, especially my case videos, my case reviews, because I'm always demoing how it fits inside of cases so it's actually pretty compact it's a little bit heavier than the easy ack i want to say this is just under a pound i think and it's capable of charging your iphone 7 plus or at least what it says on the box seven times and if you do the math that means that it can charge your switch about three and a half times and i found that to be pretty accurate in my experience from the past month of using it now it doesn't come with a cool flashlight or anything like that but it does have two usb ports so you can simultaneously charge two different devices if you'd like to and it also has one micro USB port on the side to charge the actual power bank itself. Now the last one that we're going to talk about and I like to call this one the big mama is the Aki 30,000 milliamp power bank. And this one comes with a lot of cool stuff. Now 30,000 milliamps is gigantic. This thing is going to charge your switch just under 7 times. So if you go camping for a week and you need to bring a portable generator with you, then I highly suggest you look into this power bank right here because this thing is going to keep you going for a very long time. Not to mention it also has a flashlight as well which is always handy and it also has a USB 3.0 port, a standard USB port, a micro USB port, and a USB Type-C port which will give you the fastest possible charging time for your Switch. Now, like I said, it's a little bit on the bigger side. It's just under a pound and a half, and it's not gonna fit into cases as easy as the Pocket Juice or the Easyac will. However, you're still gonna get a ton of extra battery for your Switch, and I'm sure you'll be able to figure out a way to want to carry this thing around, because with it, you're never gonna really have to worry about running out of batteries. So really, when it comes down to it, and you're looking at power banks, you need to think about what sort of switch user you are. If you're using your switch on the go all the time and you don't find yourself close to an outlet to charge, you might want to invest in the biggest possible power bank you can get, which is why I would go with the Aki. However, if you find yourself as more of a person that uses power banks less often, maybe you don't go on trips very often, but you'd still like to have that power reserve when you're out and about outside of the house, then I would definitely think about investing in the EasyAc which is going to be only $25. So for that price, you'll at least have a little bit of a backup if you ever need it. So anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. What do you think about power banks for the Switch? Are you looking for a good one or have you found a good one that wasn't on my list? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please remember to like it and subscribe for more Switch videos just like this one. Thanks and have a great day.